back on it. It was probably um, a herx from the Levaquin um, because that treats Bartonella, and <clears throat> I felt so much sicker. I had more heart symptoms. I was having, you know, lots of, I just, you know, shortness of breath, um, palpitations, tachycardia, um, all sorts of, you know, just blah and not feeling right and feeling very weak and um, so we went back to the ER and oh, the ER sucked because um, I had to wait in the in waiting room for like four, four or five hours before even getting a bed, before even getting into the ER and the whole time waiting I thought I was just going to die. I felt so ill and it was just terrible. Um, I remember I had to go to the bathroom while waiting in the ER and basically I could hardly walk there. I was so weak and I'd try, you know, talking to Matt, you know, he'd ask me how I was doing and just to get a reply out it felt like so hard. It felt like felt like my voice was gone, like I had no breath to even, you know, answer him. Um, well, I went back to, um, into the ER finally, when we, um, you know, there was space available, and they, um, did lots of heart tests, they did, a, um, you know, EKGs, CAT scan of my heart and lungs, which came back normal. Um, basically, they still didn't find anything. All they found um, from taking blood was that I might have hypothyroidism, and um, basically they discharged me, saying that I just had tachycardia and um, that I should probably see an endocrinologist for the hypothyroidism. So that was that. Um, you know, eventually I did um, get in to see a endocrinologist. Um, I was so sick at this time. This was the time where I was sick a lot, like all the time, and it was just getting to the point of, you know, I felt like I was just dying, and um, the endocrinologist basically didn't want to um, diagnose me from the blood test at the um, at the ER, so he had to do his own take his own blood, and, um, that took a few weeks, and then, you know, finally, um, actually after they lost the blood, um, and it took like, what, five more weeks or something, he finally, um, said yes, you do have hyperthyroidism, but it was a very low number, it was only like 5.9 or something, um, and usually with lab standards that's still normal, but um, they've come to find out that between one and two of um, for your TSH is what you really want. So um, he diagnosed me that way, and I still had weird symptoms that didn't um, go together with hypothyroidism. Um, tachycardia is not from hypothyroidism. Um, you know, a few other things, like, I can't really think of it. That's another part of my story, is the reason why it took so long for me to figure out Lyme disease also, is because for a long time I started thinking, um, it's just my hypothyroidism, it's nothing else. Um, it even got to the point where um, I read stories about how people with hypothyroidism um, don't get better, even when they're on treatment. If, because sometimes their body needs a certain medicine um, and they have to experiment to see how much medicine they need or what kind of medicine they need and so for a long long time I thought that you know okay it's just my hypothyroidism and that's that's it I need new medicine and I need a new dosage and um, that went on for like half a year and that's all I thought I had um, I'd go to doctors and, you know, um, tell them, please give me some, give me a different thyroid med, give me more, give me a different dosage, um, and they wouldn't, and they would say, oh, it's not your thyroid, and, um, 
but they would say, oh, I don't know what it is, and um, the one time I went to, um, you know, a couple doctors, the one said, oh, you need to see a psychologist, you're depressed. Of course I was depressed, I was so sick at that time, and I didn't know what was wrong, I just, you know, oh, it was awful. Um, you know, it's, it's really scary when you think you're going to die, and there's nothing no one can do for you, and, um, I went to my other doctor, uh, my family doctor, and he basically told me, um, you know, you have some kind of virus, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you just needed to drink a lot of Gatorade, and that's it, and he, that's what he said, he said, you need to drink a lot of Gatorade, <laughs> and, um, he said, otherwise, it's probably your spirit, and, um, I did what he said, I took the Gatorade, and, um, you know, it didn't really help, <laughs> nothing really helped, um, I forget what happened, um, I was so sick and tired of, you know, feeling so sick every single day, and nobody was helping, doctors don't really seem, you know, as good as they should be anymore, um, sometimes I don't even know how they get their degree, um, I ended up looking on the internet, putting in my symptoms, and of course Lyme disease came up, and, you know, I was like, wow, and I, um, at the time I didn't really think of the tick bite, you know, um, ten years earlier, um, of course I could have been, um, rebitten in the interim, but, um, I have no idea, because the only tick I saw was, um, 14, or 10 years ago, when I was 14 years old, um, so I ended up seeing a Lyme doctor, um, and being, um, um, diagnosed, basically though, I'm a Lyme mutt because, um, my, my tests were never, never came back positive. Um, I have a positive Bartonella test, but that's about it, and my Lyme tests, um, are just really, you know, not positive, and it's, and it's, it has put me through, through hell, basically, because some people, you know, get the positive, and it's so easy for them, and, or not always easy for them, but it, you know, if I had a positive, I wouldn't be half as, you know, doubting as I am, I'm, I doubt all the time, you know, that this is wrong with, you know, that Lyme is what's wrong with me, I mean, my symptoms fit perfectly, um, I have gotten better on antibiotic treatment, and I've been on, um, antibiotic treatment for over, what, it's been one and a half years, um, and I have gotten so much better, considerably, um, but, you know, there's always this, this thing in the back of my head that says, um, are you sure it's Lyme? I don't even know anymore. Oh, like, you know, I can, s I still got better, um, a lot better. I'm not 100% yet. I'm, it depends on the day. S some days I'm, you know, 80%, 70%, 60%. Um, some days I'm 30%. Um, it's just, it's this roller coaster and, um, at least it's better than it used to be. It used to be, um, constantly really bad, like 30% every single day or, or less than that, sometimes even, what, 10%, um, um, so, basically, that's that. Um, I have a new Lyme doctor now, and, um, I'm going to be treated for Babesia soon. Um, right now we're just treating Lyme. I'm on Minnow, and uh, actually I'm going to start um, Bactrim today with it. I've been on Bactrim before, and um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, that's my story, and that's sorry it was kind of long, and um, I probably missed some parts because it's just. Actually, I know I missed some parts, but basically that's just about the symptoms and, um, in the beginning. Um, 
it's a long story. Um, that's about it, and I hope you all are feeling well. And I'll post later.